Hi guys, David the Fishing Pastor here, and it is 2016 now, so this is my first video of the year. I am out here on the river today. It's early, and it's pretty, uh, pretty chilly out. But uh, first, I just want to say uh, thank you guys. Thank you for your support and your encouragement. Uh, it's really been an affirmation for me to continue uh, to make videos this year, and I'm going to do so as much as possible. So thank you. God bless you guys for uh, all your wonderful comments and your subscriptions and everything else. So thank you guys for that. Um, but while I'm here, I actually want to take a look back at 2015, and I want to talk about my top five favorite lures of last year, what worked for me the most, uh, what I liked the most, and um, maybe it'll help you guys make some decisions on lures to pick up for this year if you haven't tried them already, or maybe there's some of your favorite lures or some of the lures that you have in your tackle boxes, but uh, I want to look back and uh, let's just talk about top five lures of 2015. Okay, so number five on my list, I'd have to say, um, has to be the soft-bodied small swim bait. Um, and this one, I believe, is uh, the Berkeley Minnow. And, um, you know, I didn't fish them a whole lot, but I did start fishing them. There's something that I really hadn't fished before. Um, you know, and I have different varieties. This one's a, a kind of a curly tail one, so it's kind of a grub swim bait-ish. Uh, and these are pre-rigged with hooks already. But then there's also these uh, kind of smaller swim baits <clears throat> that I put onto a jig head or I would use as a trailer for a swim jig or something something else that I had. Um, but these have been actually pretty cool. Um, I, I don't use any of the real large, you know, like Huddlestons or anything like that. Um, but actually, I believe it was on this minnow that I caught my first uh, kayak bass on, I believe is what it was. Um, so they've been, they've been pretty cool. Uh, they're very light, but very effective, uh, you know, especially in places where there's small shad, um, you know, or there's kind of, you know, some larger minnows, something that the, the fish are chasing around. Um, and, uh, you know, they're, they're real easy to rig up, especially these pre-rigged ones. But, you know, again, if, if they're not, then just use a, a, a jig head or, or a swim jig or, a, you know, even a spinner bait or something like that, buzz bait. Um, but for sure, definitely uh, soft bodied swim baits has to be number five for me. And, you know, th these happen to be Berkeley. I think all three of these actually are Berkeley. They don't have to be Berkeley. Um, you know, they can be any brand. Uh, but I found that these are a pretty good size and they do have some uh, slightly larger ones as well. So uh, coming in at number five, like I said, is the soft bodied small swim bait. Okay, so coming in at number four, uh, for sure has to be um, the jig. And more specifically, the football head jig. And I've actually done a video on how to fish a jig or a football head jig. Uh, and I'll go ahead and put that up so you can um, uh, see that video as well. But I love, love jigs. Um, love to fish jigs. They, they don't produce as many bites, but they do produce nice bites um you know and i was actually here on the river last week and hooked up on a fish on a football head jig uh, i lost him unfortunately he came off somehow um but it was a really nice fish actually if i would have brought it in it was it was fighting really really hard um but yeah definitely the 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 football head jig for me uh, is one of the most versatile baits um, you know they're made to be cast down and generally i'm, I'm fishing from the bank and even if I'm not, I'm on my kayak, I'm casting out and then I'm bringing it back to me slowly, whether I'm dragging it on the bottom or I'm very lightly hopping it or I'm bringing it over structure or whatever it is. Um, it's, it's just one of my favorite things to throw and I'm, I generally always have a jig tied onto one of my rods. So coming in at number four is the football head jig. I don't really have a preference when it comes to company. I, I haven't really used any uh, that I've liked more than others. I'm still testing out uh, uh, lots of different jigs and I'll go and just kind of grab a bunch when I go uh, to the tackle shop and see what works for me and see what doesn't um, <clears throat> but uh, you know I, I I'm 
going to usually have a green pumpkin um, or a black and blue uh, type of jig tied on, but I do have some different colors uh, like this one. So uh, definitely uh, have to get yourself some football head jigs. All right, so number three on my list um, is more of a rig bait more than just a specific bait and uh, if you watch any of my videos uh, you've probably seen me fishing a drop shot rig and uh, I do have a video that I'll put up of how to fish a drop shot rig uh, but pretty much it's a, uh, a hook on your line um, that is going to be above your weight usually about uh, between it could be between 6 and 18 inches it could even be higher um, than that but that's generally where I'm gonna fish it usually I'm at, at about 12 to 18 inches uh, between the hook and then the drop shot weight at the bottom there and uh, this is I believe a gamakatsu uh, size 2 drop shot hook uh, but you can use a few different kinds of hooks I just those are the ones that I like um, and then what I'm almost always going to have on here I, I do throw on a couple of different things every once in a while depending on the conditions uh, and the water and stuff but what I'm usually going to have on is a uh, is a robo worm uh, fat worm and this is the four inch and in the bold bluegill color um, and this is my favorite brand robo worm i know there's some different brands that you can throw uh but what what i've seen is i like robo worm the, mer the most and then i like this color the most um this bold bluegill color which is kind of a brown and then it has a black line down the down the middle and then on the bottom is this green chartreuse chartreuse ish kind of color and i've caught lots of fish on these uh and really the the reason it's it's uh edged out the the jig for me is because uh, this last year um, the drop shot was just invaluable uh, it, it helped me so much and I even managed to catch uh, a four pound two ounce bass on this exact same uh, bait really well not this one but um, same same thing it was a four inch robo worm fat worm and bold bluegill Caught me lots of fish, caught me some pretty nice fish. So definitely uh, coming in at number three has to be the drop shot with the Robo Worm Fat Worm in Bold Bluegill specifically. You can try any color you want. I've tried a few different colors, but this is uh, for sure my, my favorite color. Okay, so coming in at number two, and uh, number two and number one are, are pretty close and could possibly even interchange, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Um, but number two for me has to be uh, the crankbait. And even more specific than that, the square bill crankbait. I love, love throwing crankbaits. Um, whether they're deep diving, uh, mid-depth, or shallow diving crankbaits, uh, I really, again, it's just one of the things that I'm always going to have tied on. I even actually got a setup specifically just for crankbaits. Um, but definitely, by far, my favorite has to be uh, the square bill. And uh, when it comes to the square bills, I, I, in my tackle box, what you're going to find mostly are the uh, KVD 1.5s. I do have 2.5s. I do have a live target. I do have a couple other ones. But uh, uh, the reason I love the KVD 1.5s is just because they fish so well. Um, and they catch lots of fish. I've caught so many fish on square bills, uh, the, specifically the KVD 1.5s. And I have them in different colors. This is, I believe, a, a summertime shad or spring or spring shad, something like that. Uh, but the sexy shad, the chartreuse shad, uh, the bluegill colors, there's so many different colors for them. Uh, and they're really durable. Um, you know, they, they, you can, you can hit them against rocks and things like that, and they're going to last, uh, pretty well. And what I think I like the most is that they're, they're fairly inexpensive between five and $6, depending on where you find them uh, and where you go and possibly cheaper, possibly even a little bit more. Um, 
but definitely uh, it's not breaking the bank for me. I'm not having to spend 10, 15 bucks on a crankbait when I know I'm probably gonna lose it. Uh, I have so many because I lose them so often, you get snagged up and you know, they're, they're gone. You're gonna break offline. Uh, you know, you're throwing it with fluorocarbon line and it's gonna snap off, things like that. Um, but definitely when it comes to uh, my favorite lures, has to be, has to be a square bill crank, or really any crank for that matter, but, but at the top of that crankbait list is going to be um, a square bill crankbait. And again, the KVD 1.5s, they're inexpensive, they're very durable, they fish true, um, and again, they, they catch lots of fish. And you can really fish them I don't know if you can fish them all year round. I mean, I, I kind of do. They they do real great, like in the uh, in the fall and the spring, things like that. But I've caught fish on cranks in summer, in winter. It just all depends on the situation. But uh, uh, definitely, definitely has to be there. So we're winding it down. There's one more that I want to share with you, and uh, it's going to be not just really my top favorite lure. Uh, of 2015, but it's, it's uh, really my top favorite lure of all time. So uh, let me show you uh, number one. Okay, so number one on my list, um, which in my tackle box I have uh, different kinds, um, different companies, different profiles, different shapes, uh, definitely has to be the lipless crankbait and uh, really the reason it edges out the the regular crankbaits the square bills of deep diving um, is because they fish in so many different conditions uh, in so many different places I fish them on the river I fish them on lakes ponds uh, I've even fished them in salt water and caught uh, a striped bass on them and they just do so well they imitate uh, a bait fish uh, almost to the T, to be honest, the, the, their movements, uh, their profiles, and I do, like I said, have different ones. Uh, this one is a Lunker Hunt fillet. Uh, these are these are actually still pretty new, uh, I, I think. Uh, actually, they're new at my tackle store at least, um, and they're a little bit more pricey. Um, and generally, lipless crankbaits are a little bit more pricey. Um, than you know like the KVD 1.5s um, but that's the Lunker Hunt I also have the um, the Rattle Trap and I know people people refer to lipless cranks a lot as Rattle Traps but Rattle Trap is actually a company it's a specific company and they all have this kind of profile uh, I picked this one up um, and you know Rattle Trap they're again really versatile they have a really good sound to them uh, and they really attract fish uh, really well, but this one I really liked this paint job on this one um, These are these were a little bit more pricey because of that paint job I think they're rattle trap live or, or alive or something something to that effect, uh, but I have those I have the uh, famous strike king red-eye shads. I know a lot of people use those um, And that's a really good one. It's it's real sturdy. I Think it's probably the heaviest one um, and they cast real far is another thing. They they cast like a dream. Uh, but I'd have to say my all-time favorite when it comes to uh, lipless crankbaits, and there's really, this this has to be my all-time favorite lure anywhere, anytime, is going to be the Rapala Rip and Wrap. And it's going to be in this color specifically. I think this is the Chartreuse Shad, I believe is what it's called. Um, and uh, the profile to me, is just perfect uh, it looks so much like a shad uh, it, it it swims so well it's very durable it's heavy enough to cast uh, pretty far actually and then I just love the color I have it I've had it in, in a few colors this one the pearl gray shiner is a great color uh, the, the the crayfish or the crawfish red is also really good but uh, when it comes to lures, this is my favorite. And uh, sadly, my local tackle shop stopped carrying them. I don't know why, so I can only get them online. I actually found this one at Dick's Sporting Goods. 
and I haven't really been fishing it because I'm afraid to lose it uh, just because I'm not finding them as much as I used to but definitely definitely the Rapala rip and wrap and I have the light version the the small version as well uh, but definitely I think this is the number six version um, a must-have for every single tackle box again you can fish it in so many situations uh, and you want to fish it on a medium heavy rod with kind of maybe some a, a little bit heavier line just so that you can rip it out of uh, grass and weeds and stuff like that uh, they do get hung up and I have lost quite a few fishing them but uh, definitely uh, number one on my list and, and really of all time is going to be the Rapala rip and wrap uh, so there's my list for 2015 top five favorite lures. Hopefully that helps you out somehow to maybe make a decision to go out and, and pick some of these up for yourself or if you have them in your tackle box and you haven't really fished them, to start fishing them. I know I'm gonna keep fishing them um, and they're, they're gonna be there in my tackle box for this entire year. And really when I think about it, I think that all five of those can really be fished all year long, depending on the, the conditions and the situation really, but um, they're, they're really versatile baits. And they're really must-haves to have in our tackle boxes uh, as anglers. So, again, you know, hopefully that, that somehow uh, will help you build up your, your tackle arsenal. But uh, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, thanks for all your support. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, uh, please hit subscribe. It's free to do. Um, and, uh, you know, it'll help me out. Uh, so much. So thanks again. God bless. Thanks for watching and hopefully this winter uh, you have the chance to get out there and catch you some nice fish.